Hey there WordPress community, today I'm bringing to your attention a plugin that will help you easily embed and inject HTML, CSS, JavaScript and PHP codes into your web pages and also add interactive features. So if you are ready to discover this plugin, let's get started. And this plugin's name is WP Coder. This plugin will help you manage all the style issues on your website, add uh, web forms or uh, introduce interactive features such as floating buttons or notifications. Uh, here you can see some of its key features. You can display rules, you can choose to display or uh, hide some elements on your um, web pages, uh, for example, disabling Gutenberg. Uh, then you can also adjust the visibility of your web pages based on user status, for example, logged in and not logged in users. Um, then you can also make great use of these uh, global PHB and this minification and optimization features that will let you not harm the speed of your website. Uh, and most importantly, WP Coder is for everyone. You do not need to have coding experience uh, or knowledge to start working with WP Coder. Once you upload it and activate it and start working with it, you will understand everything at that point. All right, so let's now go and test these features in action on my WordPress dashboard. All right, so let's now head to our WordPress dashboard and test these features in action. So here I've already installed and activated WP Coder and here's how it looks like on my WordPress dashboard. And let's get started with the first case scenario. Um, so let's say we want to disable Gutenberg um, editor. While Gutenberg editor is a very useful one, uh, sometimes we want to disable it for specific post types or um, pages or user roles or themes and WP Coder allows us to do so uh, with introducing a simple code to the global PHP. Uh, so here is how it looks before we um, disable Gutenberg. Uh, this is our page. And let's now head to global PHP and simply pass this code here. And don't forget to enable PHP code and save it. And let's now add a new page so here you can see right now it looks like this. Okay, so let's now say for our second case, uh, we want to introduce some content for our logged in and not logged in users um, on our web page. Uh, so for that, we are heading to this all cards and hit this add new button, or we can immediately proceed to this add new button. Um, so from here, we are heading to PHP. And here we are passing this code uh, and then we are also heading to HTML and we are writing this user content here. Mm -hmm. And let's also name it custom PHP and let's save the changes. And from here, you can um, immediately find a shortcut here, which you will simply need to copy and uh, paste it here. And let's update this and see how it looks like on our uh, web page. And here you can see content for a login appear right here. For our third case, uh, let's say we want to introduce an interactive feature, a floating button into our website. Uh, so for that, we are again adding a new uh, code here. And so let's name it. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this time we are using this already generated code that uh, WP Coder has generated on Kotman IO uh, for the uh, floating uh, button um, interactive feature. Uh, so let's start with simply copying and pasting these codes. Um, so here we are pasting the HTML into this HTML. Then let's head to CSS and also do so from here. Uh, 
Also, what is great about WP Coder is that it enables both uh, inline coding and also um, attaching files. Uh, so let's say if you want to uh, write your code down here in line, then you can definitely go with that. But you can also include uh, files here. Let's see how we can do that. Uh, so from here, let's copy um, this uh, file from here and paste it here as a CSS URL. Mm -hmm. And then don't forget to the save changes. And again, we will need to copy and paste our shortcut into our page. Let's do that. Hit update. And let's see it. Okay, so we can see now this button appear on our website and it's pretty beautiful. I like it. The other thing that uh, WP Coder allows its users to do is displaying any notification that they want on their specific and chosen pages. So let's start doing it. Um, so for that, we are again creating a new code. Let's name it notifications. Okay, so we are heading to HTML and we are passing this code here. And then uh, for the design, let's... Um, And then for the design, let's head to, uh, again, WP Coder's uh, generated code and let's copy and paste the style from here. Mm -hmm. Let's also include uh, the file of it. And let's save the changes. Let's now go and display it. We are again simply copying the shortcut from here and heading to our um, sample page and pasting it here. And the most important part, here you can display any notification that you want to also display uh, in the front end. So let's say, hi there, dear users. Please log in. Mm -hmm. And then most importantly, you will also need to um, add this. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Let's now display this and see how it looks on our front end. And ta-da! This is our notification here. I think it's really cool. That's it about WP Coder for today, your go-to plugin for making your web pages more engaging and attractive. And if you still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye.